Amen, amen, amen. Uh, uh, before we, 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 we kick start uh, uh, what we're going to be sharing, I'd just like to honor and greet our dad. The apostle is in the building. We can clap for him again. Bazalan, amen. Um, um, greeting our mom in absentia as well. Uh, greetings to all the pastors who are here, the leaders of the church. Uh, greetings to our fellow panelists <laughs> and guest speakers, the Kula family, Dr. Kula. Thank you so much for such a powerful word. That was powerful. That was, uh, that was amazing. Amen. Uh, greetings as well to the youth ministry leaders. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you so much for, for putting this together. Amen. Amen. Uh, we were just sharing with my wife, who would, you know, um, as we were growing up um, um, within our, our, um, our walk with God, you know, isn't as ganjeng ampeleiting agalayo. Amen. You know, the stuff that was shared here, not just we were taking down notes. Amen. Amen. Even last night, my wife was, uh, you know, sharing some notes. I got the kulumu mamukula, ukchengisang ampele. Because even when you're married, stuff like this does matter. Amen. Amen. But I think Unkulunkul is going to speak, is, is speaking to some of you while I'm sharing my story as well. You might be in, a, in, God, in, a, in an ungodly relationship. And Unkulunkul is telling you this morning, Oguti, through me or through us, Oguti, let go of that relationship. He's got better for you. And if that guy is the one for you, Unkulunkul is going to transform him into that guy he wants him to be for you, just like how he did to my, in, in my life. I know it's tough. I know you, 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 we are Mtanda. I know what you guys, Manbugana Meshwe, Nugubakona, my butterflies. But Unkulungulu got something better for you. Unkulungulu doesn't look at the butterfly. I'll, I'm a butterfly, I'll tell you one thing. Huh? You know, um, you need someone that you're going to build with. And to get to a scripture, Unkulungulu in the book of Genesis, I'm sorry I'm rushing because of time. My wife is going to speak just now as well. Unkulungulu in the book of Genesis, Utu, verse 18. Utu, the, the, the Lord said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make him a helper. Suitor for him. Amen. The first word is helper. Amen. And the second word, which is, which is, the, um, which is the most important word, is suitable. Amen. You can get a helper, but you need a helper that is suitable to you. Amen. Amen. You might think, um, um, uh, my brother, what's the, the lady that you're with now, ah, she's a good helper, but is she suitable to you? She is a helper, right? But is she suitable to you? So I Google the word suitable. Suitable is is the right or, appro or appropriate, is it, 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 okay, suitable is something that is right or appropriate for a particular person, purpose, or situation. Amen. Amen. So you need someone who's suitable to you. I was blessed by Uncle Uncle that I found a wife who's a helper, but she's also suitable to me. Amen. Amen. And some people think, Uncle, when they look at my, my, myself and my wife, oh, the suitability looks like this. No, 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 no. It's deeper than this, Bazalwan. The world helper, Unkulunkulu, let, let, let me break it down a little bit more. The world helper, Unkulunkulu, also speaks about the Holy Spirit as being a helper. Amen. Unkulunkulu, my hamba, I'm going to leave you, not alone, but I'm going to leave you with a helper. So when Unkulunkulu let us go, Amen. So as a man, when you look at the characteristics of a wife, look at the characteristics of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a helper. Amen. The wife is a helper, amen. So, pegama characteristics are more in I know you women, you like Proverbs 31 and Lapamusufi and Ago verse 10. You want to make character for you now. Yes, I know. But, um, okay, I'm talking to the men actually. Baba, or Puti. Don't just look at, at the characteristics I found in Proverbs 31, amen. Look at the characteristics of the Holy Spirit, amen. Because Unkulunkuluta will find you a helper. My cousin Moengoluta will give you a helper. So, the, perf the perfect. Um, a, 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 a place on was to match my characteristics of Mutos Oxisa is none but the Holy Spirit. And I know what's in we think what's the Holy Spirit is just the power you can utilize. No, no, the Holy Spirit is a person. Amen. So my characteristics now. Amen. So as you look at the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is what is a helper, is an advocate, is a comforter. Amen. Do you see that thing in this woman? Do you see that thing in a woman? Do you see a comforter? Do you see a helper? Do you see an advocate? Amen. I was blessed enough that with a real helper. It is tough out there. Amen. And, and alone, I wouldn't be able to achieve the things I've achieved outside of my wife. She is a helper. She's the one that propels me to get to the place. I would never be able to do it alone outside of her. Amen. 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 She prays for me. She intercedes for me. The Bible says the Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. 
Amen. When I'm in the marketplace and working, this is the woman that intercedes for me. Now, when are you just looking for, for, for looks and a nice body, but is this woman a helper? When the going gets tough, is this woman going to pop up as a helper? Amen. Most marriages these days, Bazalana was sebens because men don't find helpers. You need a helper. Dark or blue, rain or shine, smile or cry, she must be there by your side to help you. Amen. 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 She's a helper. One thing my wife helped me Ngayo is she, she taught me how to tithe. Amen. I wasn't taught at church how to tithe. My wife actually taught me how to tithe. She's been a tither from, I don't know, ever since... She, 17. Uh, okay, uh, ever since the age of 17. She's been a consistent tither. And when it came to the um, principle of tithing, I really didn't understand it. I went to church. I could hear the preachers preaching it's tithing, but I needed my helper to come in and make me understand do you understand how deep this thing is? Do you understand when you're looking for that compatible person, when you're looking for that suitable helper, how deep you need to go? It's not just about butterflies and a six pack. Well, she's lucky. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Akfan, Akfanan, but wait. Yeah. So it's, it's not just about that, but I, I want to allow it to, 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 to speak as well. Um, so it, 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 it goes that deep, amen. And the one thing that you must know, Ugutim, a flower will never bloom in the wrong environment. One thing you should catch with what I've said, a flower will never bloom in the wrong environment, amen. You might have a potential to be a flower, you might have a pot potential to bloom, but because you are with the wrong person, you won't bloom, you won't blossom. Amen. Amen. But because you are the wrong, you with the wrong person, the things that Tunkulukul wants to do with your life, that person is going to act as a barricade. You need a prayer partner. As I as I as I end, I'm just going through my points. Tunkulukul uh, says in the book of Matthew 18, verse 19. Again, I say say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as to touch anything that you ask, it shall be done for them. In heaven, and then it carries on. It says, "When two or three are gathered in my name, there shall be." So, mas babi liga njena, we ikoram is ticked. Unkulunkulu kona, amen. And if me and her, yes, <laughs> comrade, amen. <laughs> and then, uh, if, if if my wife and I agree, Bazalwan, anything that we agree on, it shall be done by God in heaven, amen. amen. So now, this is the last thing. Engzok shianga, engzok engzok shianga. So the person lo nae manje is is it a person that is your prayer partner? Have you guys once and you get something and and agree on it? Is that person shy to pray in front of you? Does that person ask you, Guti, what are you trusting God for? Does that person ever say, can I please pray for you? Does that person ever in the morning accent a scripture or, 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 or a declaration? This thing is very deep. The things my wife and I have achieved in life are mainly blessed or based on Matthew 18. Whatever my wife and I agree on, you need someone like that. And I remember, not I remember, but every time when something doesn't work out, but honestly, honestly, then we realize we know somewhere, somehow there was no agreement. That's how powerful it is. But every single thing, not in 99, 110%, what me and my wife have agreed on 110%, we have achieved. Now that is the kind of person you need. Now that is the kind of environment where we will bloom and blossom. Now that is the kind of environment or that is the kind of person you need in order for God bless you as my wife shares something very important that Unkulukul has laid in our hearts. Amen. Amen, Bazalwane. Uh, greetings to the Apostle Echo Na Amen Baba. Um, greeting the leaders. Amen. Amen. And uh, Gabingelela to the youth, amen. amen. Uh, the future community leaders, amen. amen. 
Siabongagakulu to be part of such a pioneering church. Amen, Amen. Bazalwane. You know, Postol always says, Wuti, strong families make strong communities. Amen. Amen. So this session is not just about, um, you know, talking about the pros and the cons of dating, but it's because there is a greater purpose, there's a greater mission behind it. Amen. We want a strong community. Amen. And the way that that is going to be achieved is through the building of strong families. Amen. Um, we've seen how so many of us have been saved by just the coming together of two people. Ubaba no mama. Amen. Now where there is an assignment upon your life, an assignment upon the life of yourself and your spouse to say a nation. Amen. So when Unkulunkulu connects two people together, it's for a greater purpose. Amen. Um, I, I remember actually from Sunday, um, when Uhana prayed for Samuel, God had the entire nation of Israel in his heart because the, at that time the nation was in disarray. But when Samuel came, he came as the first priest. Amen. Amen. So, Unkulunkulu relating to Ama families, it goes beyond just connecting Abant Ababili to enjoy each other. Amen. Of course, the Bible tells us we must seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added. So, Maslangana, it's for the seeking of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Just briefly, I'm going to touch on three points. Masengiakreta. The first one is um, on the family structure. Ugutunkulunkulu wa creator u Adam no Eve. Amen. That was God's perfect plan. Uguti, a man and a woman must come together. Amen. And as a church, that is what we must stand for. Uguti, a family or a relationship is between a man and a woman. Amen. Now, why did God do this? Amen. La Genesis 1, verse 26 to 28, where he said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. Then God blessed them and said, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, govern it, reign over the fish and the sea, the birds in the sky, and all the animals that scurry along. Amen, Bazalwan. So, Unkulunkulu, Ushanganisa Banta Babilila, and behind that, Amen, he wants the family to procreate. It's good for a family to have children, to be fruitful, to multiply, to fill the earth, to govern and to reign. That's what God has called us for. Not to be just a small family. No. God has a greater purpose. Amen. And so when you come together, seek the purpose of God. Why does God want to put us together? Amen. So, um, as a church, I believe, Uguti, we want to see men and women coming together in order to fulfill the purpose of God. Amen, Bazalwan. Secondly, when Unkulunkulu Edala Omundwe Slisa, Amen, Liti Baipeli, he breathed the breath of life into the man's nostril, and the man became a living being. Amen. So we see here, Uguti, the man came first. So the intention is the man must be a leader. Amen, Bazalwan. He must be a leader. Amen. And when Unkulunkulu SM creates God speaks to him and he says, Tend and watch over the garden, but warns him and says, You may eat all the fruit except the fruit or the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you eat it, you are surely to die. Amen. So God gives an instruction. Amen, Bazalwan. So as a man, a young man refused to be unemployed. Amen, Bazalwan. Because now Unkulunkulu siambona la, o creator, o Adam, umnigum sebens, o si tend and watch over my garden. Amen. And then after that, he gives him an, an instruction. Ut unga unga everything except from this tree. Amen. O she luto o o mamkoli zolugut. How can you be with a person who has never heard from God? The first thing here is Unkulunkulu oyam ukuluma no 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 Adam. 
Amen. We am Don't do this. Amen. So that's how Adam will lead a family yake because the instruction is from God. The prayer in our family should be, Lord, lead my husband as you lead. Let my husband lead me as you lead him. Amen. It's God, man, woman. Amen. I don't want to be led by someone who's not being led by Christ. Amen, Bazalwan. I don't want to be led by someone who does not hear from God. Amen. Because intelligence only goes a, 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 so far. But my ways are higher. My thoughts are higher. So when my husband leads us, he must tap into the ways Amen. and the thoughts Amen. of God. Amen. Amen. That's big. Who's, who's saying that? Is it you or is it God? Amen. You know? So this is, this is, this is um, relating to Umunt Wesley's. Amen. And then Uncle Uncle, he joins the two together. Amen. And they become one. So we want to see Imdeni that are united. Amen, Bazalwan. Oneness, speaking the same language. Ekaya fanele ubaba no mama bakulume into eyodwa. Amen. Um, unity is very important, Bazalwan, and it goes a long way. So in the families that we, we are building, we must seek Uguba united. We see unity between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three different people coming together, each show of Uguti what they must do. I'm sorry to reduce God to a person, but Unkulunkulu, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We all know what the role of the Holy Spirit is. The role of the Holy Spirit is to help. But his job was to come here and to, um, you know, to be, um, to be to, as our Lord and Savior. And he is the one who was crucified on the cross. And there was an intention behind that. He, amen. And of course, our father, the head. Amen. So we want our families where our roles uh, must be defined. Each person must know Mina. As in daughter, amen, I am here to lead. I am here to take instruction from God. And the Bible goes on to say, um, the man must love laying down his life as Christ laid down his life for the church. You know, sometimes when I watch my husband laying down his life for me, I'm like, thank the Lord Jesus, I'm not a man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, can you imagine, Bazalwani, um, Uncle Uncle likens marriage to Christ laying down his life for the church. Christ had to die for the church. That's how much he loved the church. So if you are not willing to die for the person that you are entering into the umshato with, don't get married. Amen. But understand, Uguti, it's more than just coming together for Obum Nandi no Mubuhe. There's a greater purpose. And as a man, I must lay down my life for this woman. Amen. Amen. Um, and then just to speak on the woman. A woman is a powerful being. Very powerful. Amen, Bazalwan. This woman can choose what she wants to do with her power. A woman can build or a woman can destroy. Amen, Bazalwan. Even the Bible tells us, so a wise woman builds her house. So the building aspect of uh, Ikaya rests upon Umuntwes Fazani. Amen. Um, you know, I, I, I stole Amanota Dr. Kula, which was uh, from a few weeks ago when he, he was preaching in Joburg. He said, you cannot, you know, the Bible says you are a helper. You cannot help someone from a lower position. If you are coming in to help, you must come from a higher position. Amen. So Umuntu Esfazani, even though she came second, she's not inferior to a man. But the Bible does say she must submit. Amen. So we see here, Oguti, the snake enters to destroy the first family through the woman. Hey. Uncle Unkulu speaks to Adam. The snake speaks to Eve. And it's Eve who gives the apple to Adam. Amen. And so in that way, destruction comes. Amen, Bazalwan. Can you see the power of Umundwes Fazan? And just a few examples of women destroyers from the Bible. 
John the Baptist, anointed man of God, uh, he came before Jesus, telling people to repent, doing the work of God, killed by the instruction of a woman. Amen. Hey. All because he spoke the truth. Amen, Bazalwan. Second uh, woman, Usamson, he lost his anointing because he came into contact with the wrong woman. Amen, Bazalwan. Yeah. So it's not just a helper. As Obamjilo said, it's a suitable helper. Amen, Bazalwan. Look yeah. what Usamson, um, he became an object of scorn and laughter because of a woman. Amen. Lam shiyu kob. Amen. Waze wafa. Amen, Bazalwan. And it was because of a woman. We see U Elijah, a powerful prophet. He runs because of a woman. Amen, Bazalwan. Yet, in the same context, we have powerful women of God. Nangu Deborah, a woman judge. Amen. We see Esther. Amen. Who saves an entire nation. She submits. Amen. To the instruction of Umodakai, she fasts for three days. If there's disaster in your family, you must be willing, as Umundwes Fazani, to seek the face of God through prayer and fasting. Amen. Bazalwan. And from that prayer and fasting, the wisdom of the Lord came, the instruction of the Lord came, and the favor of the Lord came. Amen. Bazalwan. We see Mary. Amen. Bazalwan. Oti to the angel, let it be unto me as you will. Are you that type of young woman, Namhlanj, mm. like who Mary? Because Mary was young when the angel of the Lord came to her. And it, 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 you know, sometimes when God comes to us, it's not easy. It's not my instructions, I'm nandi. But when God comes, will you respond to, to oh, 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 the angel as God, as, as Mary did? Amen, Bazalwan. And so these are the women in the Bible that we should be looking up to. Be careful, Luguti. Who is your, 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 your role model? You know, I mean, I always say my greatest role model is Jesus. I don't need to go any further. And of course, being in the house, we look up to Obama no mama. Amen. Um, you know, and, uh, and, and again, we can see, oh, Proverbs 31, speaking of this woman who's clothed in strength and dignity. The Bible says, Uguti um nawake, sits at the city gates deliberating uh, on important matters. But the whole of uh, Proverbs 31 is speaking of this woman. Amen. Powerful as she is, but kubalegi luguti, she submits. Amen. And so without wasting any more time, because we've got the panel discussion. Amen. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Or just click this right here. And remember, be strong and courageous. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That's Joshua 1 verse 9. God bless you.